Hello and welcome to the liquidity marker video. In this video, we'll be going over how to use the liquidity marker. To add the liquidity marker to bookmap, simply go to the bookmap knowledge base, the add-ons tab, liquidity markers, and then just follow the written guide on how to install it. Once you have it installed, now it's time to use it. There are two modes, a max liquidity level and the liquidity changes. First, we'll go over the liquidity changes. Within the changes, you have display threshold, a max liquidity changes for more than, I've selected 500. By default, this is set 20. You can also auto calculate it. I rather prefer manual calculation after you've spent time looking and, read, uh, and, and reading the charts. As this will give you a much granular control than an auto calculation, but each to their own. What this will do is, for instance, this, you see a plus 531. For instance, if I change this to 531 or 532, this will no longer show up as my threshold to show a marker is set to 532. Since I have it set to 500, it shows it. So any number below 500 in changing the liquidity will not show. As I have purposely said, do not display that. Next is filter markers near BBO. BBO stands for best bid and offer. All this will do is, for instance, I have a tick size of 10. That means each, each one represents 10 units of price. And if I go into my settings, it says six ticks away from the level. So that means it will not account for anything from one, two, three, four, five, six. From here on out, it will start displaying changes in liquidity. If I were to change this, this will bring it closer or further away, depending on if I went up or down. Next is number of markers displayed. If you want to display less on your charts, you can do so. I chose to left, leave this unchecked marked as I want to see everything because I do find it that it's not too much. It's not too overbearing. If you start having more things in your charts, it might get overbearing and that is in up to the end user to define what is overbearing. Again, show, uh, ch check marking this on and simply going up and below will change how much I get to see at a given point. And checking this will allow me to see everything. Lastly is showing increasing and decreasing spikes. I'd highly recommend having both of these on as it would make sense to show when liquidity is increasing and decreasing. So now we have that and we'll let that load in. Wall sat loads in, we'll go over the go over the max liquidity level. So under max liquidity level, we can see that the liquidity marker of more than 10 for the threshold. This is just the uh, sensitivity, and we can think it of as a sensitivity. So if you're in a less volatile environment, having this lower will be more helpful. Let's say you're in a very volatile environment and you see rapid changes very so often. Then you want to change the threshold to a higher number. By default, it's set to 20. So let's go ahead and change this back and we'll increase it. And the last point is the number of levels to display, five. So this will just say, okay, the highest liquidity on this uh, chart is 91 here, 91 here, 103 here, and so on. It won't show you increases and decreases. So I find it slightly disadvantageous than the changes in liquidity, which shows you a lot more. But again, you might find this to be too much information and find it hard to read. But all this sort of suggests is in this instance here, in this uh, price point here, there was an addition of 1k Bitcoin over three points and a minus of 3k Bitcoin and those were six separate events and the right market is events and the and the left market is contracts or the amount of Bitcoin or whatever you're trading 
as you can see here, this there was a minus, but then a lower addition. This tells you that someone wanted to remove that bids here and keep it close here, but at a less increasing rate. As soon as we came into here, someone took their bids off as they didn't want to get filled and price didn't want to price did not want to sack this. That covers the basics of liquidity markup. If you have any questions, leave them in the Discord or the comment section and just ask anyone in the bookmap team uh, to clarify things. Hopefully you found this informational. Other than that, have a lovely day and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.